Hello, I'm Atubo George, and I'm so blessed to be bringing God's truth to you today. Praise God. Ah, it's been so awesome since Monday. Hey, we are talking about the spirit of boldness. Praise God. Thank you. And, and as we share these things and, and, and walk in the anointing and in the glory of God, even your own boldness is being restored to you. So don't just listen and say, oh, what's going on? No, 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 no. Get into the flow with God. Father, I receive boldness today. Hallelujah. Yes. Praise God. Are you ready to make demand for your daily bread? Be bold about this one too. Because you're going to receive supply. Money is coming to you today. Every supply that you need to make today worth it. Receive it right now. Are you ready to make that demand? Say, Father, I demand right now for my daily bread. It's coming to me in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Woo! Glory, 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 glory. I, I pray the Lord will allow us to teach today. But, but you know, he, he's the owner. So if he, he says, my friend, stop that thing. I just said it like my dad. Praise God. You know, stop that thing. Yes, sir. Okay, let's go in your direction, praise God. Because he's concerned about you. He's not so much concerned about what I, what I think I want to preach. He's concerned about getting his word across to you. And I love that because you are the reason I'm here. Praise God. Yes. If there is no you, God will not command me to do this. I can just sit down and enjoy the presence of God all by myself and love God and He's taking care of me. I'm telling you the truth. I'm telling you the truth. We're not doing this because we're looking for um, exposure or we're looking for anything, looking for money. We, we don't display our account numbers and say, say if this message I'm blessed, send, send. No, we don't. We don't. That's to tell you, we're not looking for money. God has been our source and he's so grateful. He speaks to people and they hear his voice and they respond to it. So, so, so lest we begin to think that's how money comes. So we don't do that. So we're here because of you. We're here to serve the will of God in your life. So as, as you hear, receive the word of God. Enjoy the glory of God. Praise God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. So receive your delivery right now. Receive it right now. Everything you really need to make today worth it. Receive it. The grace you need. Hey, he says he's able to make all grace abound towards you. So what grace do you need? He said he has the ability to make all. If you need grace in your finances, he's got it. If you need grace in your health, he's got it. If you need whatever, that's why you shouldn't give up. It's too early to give up. Don't give up. Don't. Don't give up. The guy says too early to give up. It's never an option to give up. Never an option. And that's why we're here today. Because the Lord is restoring boldness in your life. Glory to Jesus. Acts chapter 4. Mm. Oh, glory, 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 glory. We should skip this verse 9. It's like the thing that used to pull us in this. In this verse 29. But there's something there that used to pull us. Should we skip it? And now, uh, we've got to read it, praise God. And now, I, I told you the background of this on Monday. These disciples were just being threatened not to speak the word of God again, not to teach the word of God again. They were commanded, don't go, go, don't teach, don't preach in that name again. Praise God. And they went before the Lord, and they didn't go say, God, they said, we should not preach, kill them. Sometimes, that attitude keep us so long in a particular bad situation. Even if the world will not change, 
that shouldn't affect your growth, that shouldn't affect your well-being. Even if you live in the midst of criminals, hey, in the midst of famine, God supplies his children. Didn't you read in your Bible? There is darkness in, in Egypt, but there is light in Goshen. How do you explain the same geographical location in terms of sphere, okay? So it's not like they were, Goshen was the other part of the world, so the earth is rotating, so the sunlight is now here, just like it is originally. Like when we have day, when we have day in, in Africa, uh, some other parts of the world is night for them. Now that's not the judgment of God, that's just the rotation of the world, okay? But but in, in this case, this is this is two places surrounded by a boundary. Okay, and they were on the same plane. Now, there is light in Goshen and there is darkness in Egypt. How do you explain that? I'm not talking about electricity that you can say they shut down the, the power stations in Egypt. No, I'm talking about natural light from the sun. So God did a miracle that there was light. Ah, come on. So when we say God allows the sun to shine on the good and the bad is because he allowed it you think god doesn't know how to shut darkness shut down the light in individuals lives oh <laughs> you don't know god you don't know the technology of heaven you don't know it. so when the rain falls and it falls on the good and on the bad not because god has no choice not because you ate the bad man thing let me go and stay uh, close to the good man so that any rain that falls on it will follow me no god has a way he can shut that rain he, two people are standing in the same place now some of you have seen that happen physically you, 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 I've seen that happen. You stand in a very spot and see the rain. Yeah. I mean, you can walk into the rain and you can walk out of the rain. <laughs> Praise God. Yes. You think God doesn't know what to do? But in his, all, in his goodness, he allows it. Because he's good. And he doesn't think evil of any man. But when it comes to judgment, ah, trust my God. He can, he can judge without looking back. <laughs> That's why Paul said it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. What, what he meant is fall into the judgment of the living. If you fall into that judgment, dear Lord, who who will you? save you from that? But he is loving and he loves to show loving kindness that's what jeremiah said he loves to exercise i love the phrasing of that statement he loves to exercise and and, and when i say exercise what comes to my mind is as the guy who's lifting weights in the gym okay so he's exercising his muscles guess what he's doing he is saying okay I, I, i'm used to this weight now let me go for a bigger one and then he takes that bigger one oh no i'm gonna do it i'll do it in it ah, yes i did it i'll do it again Ah uh, yes. Now was it? He's exercising his muscles. So when, when I when I when I read the, the words of Jeremiah, I God spoke to him, and that's the picture I see. He loves to exercise loving kindness. So I, I, I picture God asking himself, "Can I can I show loving kindness to this bad fellow?" And, and everybody's looking, looking at that fella like this guy. This guy must die. This guy is supposed. He's not supposed to be. And God is like, okay, this is a project now. Can I can I exercise loving kindness? I'm like, okay, let me see. Um, I'm gonna. I know. I will. Ah, uh, can I really do? It? Okay, okay. I will love this guy. <laughs> I'll show him love. Now you are waiting for God to destroy him. God is looking at how you will use him to exercise his loving kindness. That's why you must not base your mind on the destruction of people to make progress. You might just be wasting your time. Because your father is looking for who you used to exercise next. It's God, yeah. Grow beyond your enemies. There is space. The space is big enough. Your father can even open more space. Okay? So, so don't, don't, don't tie your, 
your progress on, on someone's life. If someone doesn't want to help you, thank God for them. Turn in another direction. You will find help. You will find help. God knows what to do. A uh, dear brother of mine was sharing with me a few days ago, you know, how where he works. He is quite new in the place. And, and before he got there, there were people who have established themselves in the job. And they've even promised them um, some kind of leadership role, okay? Now, when the time came for it, now these people have lobbied for it, they've worked for it. They didn't just lobby, they, they labored for it. They, 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 they've done their best for it. But when the time came for the leadership role to be given, they decided to give it to this brother of mine. And even him had, had like, no, I think these people are more. They said, no, we want you to act. Now he was explaining the situation to me and he said, he said, Pastor, let me explain to you. These are the people who used to send me on errands. You know, they, they have work to do. So you, you, you know how they, and you're supposed to do this, you're supposed to do this. So he, because it's like new, okay, youngest in terms of um, working in that place. And he was just trying to do his work, please anybody you can please. And like, now he is the one that was put in as their lead. And, and they, they are gnashing their teeth and they are like, that's God for you. See, that's God for you. Now, it's not like he went to manipulate anything. No, he was just, a, even when they talked about it, he said, no, I, I think these people are better qualified for it. Because naturally, he was thinking, eh, how do I go about this? But they said, no, you can do it. And we'll give it to you. God can create space. You don't need to fight with anyone to gain space. Ah, oh, come on. Thank you, Jesus. Verse 29. And now, Lord, behold their threatening, and grant unto thy servants that with all boldness they may speak thy word. By stretching forth thy hand to heal, and that signs and wonders may be done by the name of thy holy child, Jesus. And that was their request to the Lord. Then God answered them. Look at the next verse. And when they had prayed, verse 31, the place was shaken where they were assembled together and they were all, all of them praying in that room. I love this word. They were all filled with the Holy Ghost and they speak the word of God with boldness. Uh, they asked God for boldness and boldness they got. Praise God. But how did this boldness come? The Lord responded by getting them filled with the Holy Ghost. Our prayer time. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You are really the great teacher, Lord. Listen. If our prayer time will be marked or will be will become more conscious of presenting ourselves for the infilling of the Holy Ghost. Now, these men already had the Holy Spirit. They were the same ones in Acts chapter 2 that got filled with the Holy Ghost. Now you see again here that they prayed and God filled them with the Holy Ghost. They were filled with the Holy Ghost before. They get, they are getting filled with the Holy Ghost again. Brothers and sisters, the infilling of the Holy Ghost is not a specific day. That's the day that you're always referring to. What's the day you got born again? But I'll tell you this truth. As proof that you are really born again. You see this infilling? It will be happening over and over and over and over and over. If you think you have become mature, you have become an elder in the kingdom of God, you don't need this experience again. You're mistaken. You are mistaken. 
If you think now all you're concerned about is I want to know God, I want to study His Word, I want to learn doctrines, brothers and sisters, this is doctrine here. Whenever you are challenged in life, guess what that challenge is trying to do to you? Reduce your boldness. Stop you from acting the way you're supposed to act. But what is God saying to you? If you present, this is what prayer time is all about. Oh dear Holy Spirit, fill me afresh. Feel me afraid. Now you, you have this these issues that you're praying about, okay? Whatever it is. Maybe at work in ministry, whatever it is, you're dealing with the situation, your health, relationship, anything that is making you lose your voice is attacking your bones. When you realize you can no longer speak freely with people when you realize you can't be yourself anymore it's attacking your boldness and the way god restores that is by getting you filled again with the spirit of god and when that happens you are restored to the place of boldness that's what it says here it says and they speak the word of god with boldness glory to god <laughs> how often we leave the things we used to believe in before and demonstrate and we think you know you know we are matured now we are no now now i i understand doing things immaturely you understand what i'm saying because even in ministry sometimes we because the, the anointing is so strong and all you want to do is to see everybody on the floor and so you ah the anointing is coming up really you see and you, you, you see people falling down you're, you're so excited i love this i love this i love this now you see the end of that thing is to make sure that they receive the word of god so if you do all that and then you don't give them the word you've just wasted the glory of god and what do I say the word of God? The word of God is the word from your mouth as a testimony. See, Jesus said, you shall be my witnesses. Now, what does that mean? It means in that situation, he will tell you, he will teach you. And whatever he teaches you, you'll be a witness to him that you have received from him by delivering to the people. Now that's how this thing works. That's how you show your witness to Jesus. You receive from him. Then you bear witness of what he has said to you in your heart. And you said, this is what the spirit of God is teaching us right now. And the people hear that and they, they get blessed. They get edified. And they leave that place knowing that they have been with God. If you finish all that demonstrations and there is no word, you just misused the power and the glory of God. I pray you receive wisdom today of this. But understand what I'm telling you. And this is the truth. The glory of God is available. And it happens when you are filled with the Holy Ghost. So maybe you got filled with the Holy Ghost in the morning. Yes, this evening, in the evening, you can get filled again. You can get filled again. Every time you pray, I'm not saying, you know, sometimes the only thing people think about being filled with it. No, no, no. You can be calm. You can be filled with Holy Ghost and be calm. But the, 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 the noticeable thing about being filled with the Holy Ghost is the boldness that it brings. Ah, I'll give you an example and then we close. Here you are. Maybe you're owing someone some money and the person is the stone. So I'm coming. And, and you begin to pray. Father. See, you'll be making mistakes of Father. This person is coming to disgrace me. Oh Lord, don't let him come. Don't let him come. Don't let him come. Hold him. Hold him wherever. Let him not come. No wrong prayer. 
Don't tell God to do such things. Wrong prayer. Hope as though it has happened before. See, let it happen as God's own judgment in, of the situation, okay? But don't make that request. What request should I make then, Father? You know, this thing is going to clip my mouth from speaking your word. If this person brings this disgrace on me, so Lord, grant unto your servant that with all boldness, I will speak your word. And you begin to pray, and you begin to pray, and you begin to pray. Suddenly, you are filled with the Holy Ghost. And when you are filled with the Holy Ghost, this person comes and said, seven p.m. tonight, you will get your money. Even you like, where did that come from? And uh, then, when will I go? So, seven p.m. I'm giving you time. But no, nah, no, nah, don't bother yourself about that. that word came from the Spirit of God. You see, by the time you face that person, that's all. And it's not you coining it, let me give him to the buy. No, you're not buying time. You tap something from the spirit of God. Now with boldness, you go 7 p.m. tonight, you'll get your I'll send it to you. You don't need to bother. Just, just go. I'll give it to you. And trust me, before that time, I can lie. <laughs> you need to understand this boldness from God. Because my time is up. <laughs> Praise God. I'll see you tomorrow. God bless you. Bye.